Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how R can be used as a calculator. For that, uh, let's, let's carry out some basic fundamental operations. Uh, R can add or subtract uh, different numbers. Uh, let's add 2 and 5. Okay, the result is 7. Good. Um, and also, let's find the difference between these two numbers, 25 and 17. And the result is 8. Uh, R can multiply uh, numbers. Uh, so the product of 3 and 7 is 21. And also, let's see how much is the product of these two numbers. Okay, and the, the product is here. Uh, R can also divide uh, the numbers. Uh, let's divide 15 uh, by 3. And the result is 5. And what would, uh, what would happen uh, to this number 3 when it is divided by 3? 0, sorry. Uh, let's see how much is the result. Okay, the result is infinity. And of course, the result is infinity because um, such kind of division is uh, forbidden in mathematics. Even we can combine different operations above uh, to make a bit complex calculation in R. Um, uh, only one thing we have to remember is the order of operations and th the order of operation is the same as that uh, we have been learning from our high school uh, like the parenthesis first and then the exponent or the power and then division then multiplication then addition and finally the subtraction uh, let's carry out uh, the expression uh, the calculation for this particular expression Okay, so we got the result for that um, expression. Um, we can even check the value of pi in R using just pi. Uh, let's see how much is that. Okay, uh, of course it is 3.141593 uh, up to 6 decimal point. Um, we can calculate the factorial and uh, square root of number um, using factorial function and SQRT function. Uh, let's uh, let's see how much is the factorial of 5 uh, it is 120 of course and let's calculate the square root of one uh, square root of 25 which is 5 all right uh, uh, we can also get the values of uh, different angles for sine and cosine etc in R uh, the only thing we have to remember is the input angles should be given in radians, not in degrees. So if you have any angle in degree, uh, you, you must convert it first of all into radians using this equation, where d is angle in degrees. Okay. Uh, suppose you want to calculate the value of uh, sine 30, and you have um, your angle 30 in degrees. Then first of all, you have to convert that angle into radian and then uh, you can use the sine function. Okay, so, so the value of sine 30 is 0 0.5. We can also uh, use the log function to calculate the log value of any, uh, any number. Um, here also, we have to remember one thing. If the base of the log is not specified, then it's a, it's a natural log, otherwise, um, in every other cases, uh, we have to specify the base of the log. So let's calculate the, the uh, natural log value of 5. Okay, so this is the natural log value of 5. And let's calculate uh, the log value of 5 with base 2. Which is 2.321928. Okay, um, we can also calculate the um, exponential value of any number uh, using exp function in R. Uh, so let's calculate the exponential value for 2. Okay, so this is the value for um, exponential 2. So that's all. Uh, so in this tutorial, um, uh, we used our R uh, as a calculator. I hope uh, you, you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in next video.